Hello lovely people, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title of the video, we are gonna be editing Instagram pictures today. Yay! <laughs> I'm so excited to be filming this video because I finally have a new space. Look guys, I'm able to move my arms around. I can go over here, go over there, my feet. <laughs> I'm just happy to be able to like see light come into my room. Like, I kid you not, the light in front of me right now is insane. I even have space to get a little fake tree in here for some aesthetics and stuff. Like, hello. <laughs> guys, I'm not gonna lie, I am feeling a little deflated right now because I just finished filming I literally just finished filming this video and I go into my iPhone and whew, the screen recording that I did showing you guys how I edit the video is literally just ain't there. It disappeared and I'm just there like, wow. I felt like, you know what, let me just bang it out again. Like I just have to get it done. So hey, <laughs> take two. So I'm going to get comfortable again because my bum has already been numb for, for sitting down for so long. <laughs> Not going to lie. But we are going to whisk through it. Hopefully, you know, this tie should just be a lot more quicker than, than, than the last so let's just get into it. Okay, attempting to record my screen now. I'm gonna put my screen up over here because it makes more sense because obviously I'm positioned over here, so you know, more space over here. But yeah, so let's just get into it. So yeah, I took a few pictures yesterday in about three different outfits and um, yeah, I already went through the ones that I liked and I favorited them and here are just a few of them. They just look really cool. I love these ones, they're so pretty. A little bit overexposed, which I'll obviously fix when I show you guys how I edit. But yeah, they're just so cute. So first things first is what I like to do when I first um, get pictures um, into my phone, when I take pictures, I, is I like to perfect 365 my face. If you don't know what that means, damn, you're gonna learn today. So perfect 365 is basically just like a facial editing app. Facial? A face editing app that, you know, just allows you to smoothing and, 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 what do you call it, smooth and heighten like certain facial features or you, you know just make your eyelashes pop a little more all that good stuff, make your lipstick like a little more you know um, <laughs> I don't know what that means Perfect 365 just allows you to kind of just um, enhance certain facial features that you know you like whether your makeup or you know um, your highlight or in all those little things you can do that on there so I'm just going to go into my favorites folder I'm just going to edit, edit the photos I already edited previously because I know where I'm going with it so <laughs> Let's do it. I'm gonna edit this picture. Let's let's go with this. Okay, I don't know why it does this. Like every time I click into the app, it like literally like gives me a makeover, and I don't want a makeover. I don't like it. It's just so <laughs> dramatic. We don't need that over here. We only here for simple, natural looking uh, editing. Along the bottom of um, the screen, you can see it has all these like different um, tabs, and I'm just gonna go into my look. Um, as you can see, like here are some um, presets I already created of like facial um, of the makeup that I normally like to do or things I like to enhance when I've got like when I'm editing a bunch of different pictures because it just makes it easier to save the look and then put it onto a different picture. So over here, you can just see like yeah, I just these are all the pictures I've edited. So I always create a new look for every picture I edit because I think when people think oh you edit your pictures or you edit your face, it's like a, it's like a massive change from what it is. No, it's really simple, like really minimal. I've clicked on the original tab right now, which means there's nothing on my face. This is literally the picture as it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into tools. So I'm going to click on face and you can see all the different things you can do along the bottom. And I'm just going to click on face because that's what I'm working on right now. And I'm going to go into soften skin. And with this, it literally just smooths out your face. Like, and it just looks so much more cleaner and put together. Sometimes this is what I do to pictures if I don't feel like you know doing the whole shebang like I just smooth it out and I leave it at that So I'm gonna probably bring it up to maybe a 50. No, that's a bit too much. Maybe a 40 for a 40 Why do I have this accent? I don't know <laughs> I'm gonna bring it up to a 40 a 40. Okay, so I like that. It's very simple Um, doesn't look too um, Fakish I guess or whatever you call it now. I'm gonna go into the foundation I'm gonna darken up my face a little bit just because I feel like when I do take pictures in bright light It does wash me out a little bit So I'm just gonna use the darkest foundation um shade available and I'm gonna probably I'm gonna bring that not probably I'm gonna bring that down to a, a 30 I think let's have a look what that looks like uh, Maybe a 35 yeah that's the before, that's the after. Before, after. I like that, yeah. It just looks so clean, 
it just makes you my makeup up a little more like the darker my face I feel like it just makes my make my it just makes my ugh. <laughs> I feel like the darker my face or my foundation it just makes my makeup pop a little more like my lips pop more my eyes my eyebrows like they look everything looks a lot more fuller and just more like put together you know so um I think I'm gonna leave it like that and what else would I do now oh lashes we, oh, we need to get we need some good lashes over here so now I'm gonna go to the eyes tab and I'm gonna go to eyelashes and I'm going to use so I think that one over there like looks pretty good. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit just because I feel like this this eye over here looks a little dysfunctional. So I'm just gonna go onto that little tab at the top if you don't see that. So it's this, and it just allows you kind of like pinpoint your um, your facial features exactly where they are. So everything kind of goes like it just kind of works according to your facial shape, I guess, or whatever. So this I'm gonna move over here. So it, so my eyelashes can seem a little more natural. Just, where am I going to... I'm just going to work with this. Mm. Okay, that's absolutely fine. I think that's a, that's much better. That looks much more natural. Okay, we're going to leave it at that. So I've made them darker and I'm happy with that. But I think, to be fair, this is this is as good as it's going to get. I think it's just very minimal um, editing. I don't want to make anything too drastic. I just want to like just kind of add... Um, color and shape where I feel like the camera couldn't like you know grab all the detail I guess um so yeah I'm gonna leave this picture as it is I think it's fine I'm not gonna do anything with the eyeshadow because I think it looks really nice as, like the way it's so subtle and it looks good um yeah so I'm gonna click on detail and when you click on detail you can literally see the dip like um the changes you've made in terms of the difference you know that's before and after I guess so that's the before and that's the after so you can see it's very minimal editing literally just smoothed my face made my face my foundation a little bit darker and um, my eyes pop a little now that my, I've got some like lashes on there you know and um, what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna go to lips and I'm just gonna change my lip color um, I'm gonna bring that down a little just the like that color kind of darkens it up a little it's like a like a nice nudish purple tone and you can see it just darkens my lip up a little like I like that so yeah we're gonna go back into detail you're gonna see like so that's the before and after again so very minimal editing and um, just to enhance what the camera took away and I think we're good to go so I'm gonna save that I'm gonna save it in low resolution because I'm not paying for it <laughs> and that is that and then I'm gonna save the look because I would use I would, so for any other picture that I edit um, that's with the same style, I would use the same um, facial or the same makeup for any other pictures. So that's done now. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Lightroom. Um, and now I'm just going to change the lighting a little bit. Just make it all, oh, you can see I already edited it in Lightroom, but we're going to do it again. <laughs> so I'm going to add that picture again. So which one is it? It's that one at the end over there. So I'm going to import that to Lightroom. There it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the lighting. So I'm going to click on, so along the bottom, there's a, like a bunch of like different um, settings and things you can play around with in the picture. I, I keep it very simple. Like, so everything I need to do is normally in the light tab. So I'm going to click on light and the exposure. I'm just going to bring it down a little bit just so there's so more detail shows up a little. I'm probably going to take it down to a 34. So again, that's the before, that's the after, before after and I think once I brought the um the con the exposure down there's a lot more detail going in the picture like you can see the background you know it's a little bit more um warmer than what it was before like it looked really washed out and now it just looks you know more put together you can see the details in my shirt a little more um so yeah I'm gonna leave that at that and the contrast I'm just gonna bring that up to maybe a three or a four and um, that just darkens up all the dark areas so like my hair the trousers and it just makes everything pop a little more so that's the before again this is the after and it just looks more natural and more subtle now and um, not as washed out as it did previously so what i'm going to do is i'm going to now save that to my camera roll in the maximum um format available and then i'm going to go into um my photo editing app again my photo editing folder again and i'm going to go into visco this is where all the magic happens this is where i literally do everything so now we're in visco you can already see i edited it here this is what it looks like, but we're going to do it again. So I'm going to add it um, from my folder. That's the last picture, and um, there it is. I'm going to import it. And what I'm going to do is, um, literally, the only filter I love to use, um, literally that I use for everything, is A4. You can see there's a bunch of other filters down here. If you use Visco, I'm sure a lot of people do. There are a lot of presets, but I rarely tend to use any of the other presets. Um, 
but A4 is the one I go for. I love it. It's got like this vintage, clean, neutral look to it, and I really, really like it. And yeah, it just works for my um, page really well. Um, so I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna click into that filter. And I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit. Maybe bring it down to a six. Yeah, I like that. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back to the, into the exposure. I'm gonna bring that down because that filter kind of just like brightens everything up a little. So I'm gonna bring the exposure down to uh, 1.4. So that looks a lot better already. Um, you can see the filter, you can see the shade more. Um, yeah, it just looks much better. And then I'm gonna go into the contrast. I'm gonna bring that up again to maybe a five. It just darkens everything up a little bit. It like, creates like these little shadows in my face, which I quite like. And um, it gives it more of an artistic feel, I think. Um, so yeah, that's it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into grain. Who doesn't love a little grain? Grain is just heaven. <laughs> so yeah, and now I'm gonna just bring that up to a, a two. What I normally do is, is I zoom into my face and if my face looks really clustered and full of like all the greens, I tend to take it down a notch. So I'd never normally go past two but I think for this one I might keep it at a 1.5 yeah 1.5 is it's good and then I'm just gonna zoom out and you can see the before after before after and I really like that it's got like a nice clean look to it um yeah I like it <laughs> well I do of course it's my picture um so yeah I'm gonna now save that well, actually I might sharpen it up a little bit just by maybe a four you probably won't even notice the difference but yeah I just do it because it's there why not so I'm gonna save that you know what I've just realized I don't like all this here and there's marks on the carpet from where the previous tenant was in the room so I think I might just obviously go into face tune I'll show you guys what I do in face tune with this so yeah I'm gonna save that as it is because I like it that's done and then I'm gonna save it to my camera roll and its actual size so there it is all good and done and then I'm gonna go into face tune face tune is like face tune is a friend um, I rarely use it for my facial features. I mostly use it for like background and stuff like that. Just to clean things up that I don't like. Oh, you can already see I did it here again, but we're gonna do it again. <laughs> Funny, you guys have already seen it. But um, yeah, we're just gonna open the photo again. So if you go, in, if I go into my moments, you can see it's literally the last picture that I um, saved from Visco. And yeah, we're gonna get rid of that shoe because I don't like it there. And we're gonna get rid of all these little marks on the carpet. I think like, you know, you don't really notice it that much. But I do, and I don't like it, and I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but I feel like, you know what, let's just clean it up, and let's just clean the image up, okay? Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the patch tool, and hopefully I can get it right this time again, because last time it took me forever <laughs> to get it right. So yeah, I'm going to zoom up super close into the picture, and then I'm just going to go into patch, and then I'm going to work with what I got. Hopefully, I can patch the shoe out. And, you know, just all will be good in the Dean land. <laughs> okay. Whew, we're good to go. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save that because I like it. And then I'm going to go into the smooth um, tool. And I'm just going to zoom in. I'm just going to smooth it out to make it seamless, to make it flawless. Let's just do that. And that's the before, after, before, after before after now let's zoom out Ta -da! like nothing would ever existed there <laughs> okay now that's good and um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clean up the carpet now because that's just yeah I don't like it okay so we're gonna save that and I'm gonna go back into patch and I'm just gonna quickly like patch over like those little marks and stuff um, yeah just to clean it up That's much better, I think. Yeah, we're just gonna save that. And that's the before after, so you can see literally where all those prominent marks are, are now gone. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, what I'm gonna do quickly is I'm gonna use the detail tool and make my, just to make my watch and my jewelry pop a little bit. So as you can see, my watch is over. So I'm just gonna take a swipe um, of the detail uh, thing with that and as you can see again that's the before after before after it pops a little and then I'm gonna go into my ring detail that as well and then my earring even though you can you can very faintly see it I'm just gonna take a swipe at it just to make it like just so I've done it at least and then I'm gonna zoom out 
and that's the before after before after zoom in closer before after so the ring more prominent the watch more prominent and my earrings are just there <laughs> okay so that's that i'm gonna save it and i'm gonna save it to uh, my camera roll and i think that's it with this picture um there's nothing else to do really because it's more it's like an editorial style it's just the outfit that let the outfit do the talking i guess there's nothing else to add um the filters there and yeah <laughs> I mean, I'm going to, let's edit another one just so you guys can see again how I'd go about it. So again, let's go back into um, Perfect 365. Let's, let's take a different picture this time. Let's go with, ooh, this one. Let's go with the snake print. Okay, again, why? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, let's go back to the original. Um, So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna save that. And then we're gonna save that to my camera roll. There we go. That looks pretty cool. Okay, so once I've kind of edited the pictures, as you can see over here, um, so that's edited now, that's done as well. Um, and the few others that I worked with last night as well, you can see um, that's what they kind of all look like. Um, once I edit a picture, normally what I do is, if it's from the same shoot or from the same um, outfit, I'll just copy and paste that setting and put it onto a different picture. Like with this one, I would have copied and pasted, I would have copied this setting, I would have copied the edit, sorry, because you can do that on this video, you can copy the edit and then you can just paste it, um, you can paste the edit onto a different picture so then they look exactly like the same, literally no difference, they're just the same kind of like colour, same um, saturation, same range, same everything, so that's what I've done. Um, these ones I've kind of left out because they're a lot more like brighter, they're more close-ups, they look more delicate, so I'm going to change those a little bit. But for the most part, like the, all the full body outfits and stuff like that, like they all got the same kind of thing going on. So anyway, once I've edited the, the picture, what I do is I then go into um, my social media. I don't know why it's called social media because it's still kind of editing, but then um, I'd go into um, preview. Yes, I do have Tinder. <laughs> no, I do not use it, but maybe I should. <laughs> But anyway, let's ignore that. Um, <clears throat> so as you can see, I've already put, um, imported the picture into um, my preview because this allows me to kind of like decide where I want to place the pictures and how they look and stuff. And as you can see, I already put that picture in there. So that's probably where I'd input that picture because I think it looks really good. Um, let's import the, the snake dressy one. Where is it? So all photos, the last one there that I edited bring that in so yeah when I put my pictures together I just love to like kind of have everything like complementing complementing each other so I, like a lot of my time um is focused in preview which is where I play around with the positioning of my pictures just so I make sure everything kind of looks good and works well together um normally what I like to do is I like to have a long shot then a medium close-up and then a close-up so as you can see here we've got like a it's a little bit of a long shot but it's more of a medium close-up but I'd say it's a long shot um then we've got a medium close-up because it's yeah, again, it's probably the same as the other one. And then we've got like a super close up. That's how I work. And then here, and um, then I've got a close up. Then I've got like a filler, a, a filler, image filler or a flat lay is what people call them. I just call them filler posts. And then I've got a long shot over here as well. So yeah, I just like to work like that. I think it just kind of gives like uniform to the pictures and it just works. Yeah, so let's say I was to upload that right now. I wouldn't upload it from the app because I feel like it like, um, it lowers the quality of the image. So what I'd normally do is um, I'd go straight into Instagram. So where is Instagram? Over there. And what I'd do is um, I'd just go straight into my feed and I would look for the latest picture. So I'd always go back into Viscocam and resave the image. Then it obviously shows up top and it shows up like the latest picture that's been downloaded to my um, folder. And then I'll just change the the ratio of this, I think, because this is the full um, screen on Instagram so but anyway so yeah that's the full um ratio almost the full screen of um the picture's almost taken up the full screen so whoever's looking at that would get like a full view of that I guess and then obviously when we go into my feed um into my feed when it's in it's like um grid form it looks pretty good as well because you can see everything without having to go into it as well which I quite like when you're on the grid um view you can still see everything as it is so yeah I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that now because I'm not gonna upload that just yet. So yeah that is it <laughs> 
that is it for this video. Um, I really wanted it to be a short video, but obviously having to refilm it again. And the no, I blab a lot, like I talk a lot. You guys, if you haven't noticed it, well, you do now. This was supposed to be like maybe like a 10 minute video. It probably ends up being 20 minutes, who knows. But if you do watch it till the end, thumbs up to you. Well done for sticking through. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if there are different apps and different ways that you guys edit, always like share with me, connect with me on my social media, which I'll put right here. I hope you found this video very useful if that's the kind of theme you're going for. I think mine is more like a clean, minimal, no, minimal um, vibe. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more content like this, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to create more videos like this. But yeah, Whew. my throat hurts from talking too much. Mm. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching again, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.